Yes. Produced with Eric and Josh. And no, hey, just how big was that for for tonight? Yeah, it's always good when everybody get involved and, and everybody feeling confident. Drew was great to start us off. DG was great. We just kept cruising from there. Brad and Book were great in the fourth. And it's good to get a win on the back to back. What did you think of you know the way you guys handled their zone? I know they got up 43s, but yeah. I mean, we started first, uh, started a fourth quarter, but shit, we got like five, six corner, wide open corner threes, and like, I, kept, I keep telling us to make them this league, like, you know, it's bad offense when you miss those wide open shots, but it's great offense when you make those shots. It could be contested over two people if you make it, it's get called great offense, you know what I'm saying? So, sometimes great offense, you're not going to make the shot. It's just about what you generated, the body movement. The screen and all that little details people should watch if they try to understand what a good basketball player is. So a lot of those times they were in the zone, book a red hand on the top, we set that screen, now we got the two on one on that backside. So that guy who gotta help you know me, you wanna sell out to try to get that time. And then we got Eric Gordon in the corner with four wide open threes. Then Book got like two of them, but from that we missed ten in a row. I'm living with those shots every time. I think I mean maybe the seventh, eighth miss, and maybe you can pump fake and get to the paint a little bit, and maybe shoot a mid and get closer. But I love those shots we took. Just a matter of going down. Curious with the turnovers, very low number tonight. Is that just a, that a more of a conscious effort going into tonight's game? Yeah, I mean, I just did. I mean, I, like I said, I set the tone with all that type of stuff. And I didn't start the game off with a turnover. I didn't have four in the first half, so the rest of the team did. Curious when you just look at this. Coach was saying before the game, you guys were upset losing the last two. How much was that part of going into tonight? You know? Yeah, I mean, we we always talk about bounce back mentality and move past the last game, and regardless of the outcome, we, we, we review it and move on quick. And I think that's what back to backs give you an opportunity to just watch, watch the game away, just go out there and play the game. And tonight we played free and we played together. We played defense and uh, kept the ball in our hands, and that's always the formula, man. We got up 26, 27 points. And I know you just look at the numbers and start watching the game. And the court, and we generated great shots the whole quarter and just didn't go in, so I'm encouraged. Uh, what? How does it feel? Uh, first, we praise God. Uh, new mask is a lot better. You can see, you can see clearly, uh, fit it well. So it was, it was good. It was good over here. Curious the way you guys uh, balanced tonight. I think six guys at double figures. The bench, you know, highly productive. Maybe just speak to the overall getting the win after a couple of times. Uh, I mean, that's what Coach uh, harped on in uh, film this morning. Uh, just being able to get back to our brand of ball, you know, getting back to getting our defense, you know, getting us into the game, getting our offense going, uh, trying to get Kate and you know, just being, just being more free flowing. You know, obviously, we've been playing well the last few games, the last eight, nine games, but you know, we dropped those two. But tonight was good to be able to just get back to our, our flow and our good energy. And speaking of that, it got a lot of early defense to offense. How yeah. uh, big was that just to initially get in that defensive mindset to have those kind of players? That's important, you know, because that's, that's what's going to win those games. Like, we can score the ball. You know, everybody knows we can score the ball. We got many guys who can do that. You know, we got to take pride in our defense, and that's where it starts. And especially us three starting the game, like we got to we got to guard. You know, and I think that's something we've been better at taking the challenges that we understand. One of us at least is going to have to guard a guy. You know, so uh, we, we take that on the chin, and uh, you know, we're, we're very enthusiastic about it. You know, we kind of like who got him, who got him, like type of thing. So it it, it kind of boosts us in the game for sure. Curious what you thought of just Josh's overall play. How big was he? Huge, man. It was, it was unbelievable. I was super happy for him. Uh, you know, good to get back his back to playing the way he, he's capable of playing, man. Just playing free, not thinking, uh, being reactive, being a defensive pest like he always is. And offensively, he made a three, made some plays. Offensively, got some offensive rebounds for us. But they were key, man. The big steal down the stretch, he got in the transition, ran it back in defense. Like, that was huge for us. So. And he knows what he's capable of doing. We, just, we need to continue to keep him back in line with this. The last thing I have with him, fourth quarter, is it, what, what, what's, I mean, I know that it's, it's something you guys know, the turnovers and not playing fast, but what, 
Was that the same thing tonight? I don't think so. I think we just didn't make no shots. <laughs> I think just the first couple of possessions, we just didn't make any shots. We had good looks. Uh, it just didn't, didn't go in, and their shots did. So, you know, that kind of, uh, I wouldn't say rattled us, but slowed us down a little bit. And, you know, we eventually got our bearings and, you know, hit back. But I think we got really good shots. We didn't turn the ball over, and I think that's, that's what hurt us in the past. We're starting those quarters. So, I think it was just better tonight. We understood what we were, what we were running. Um, we were organized. We just got Cut the looks. I'm not in the middle. How big was it to get in the flow once you got in and hit some things and then contribute the way you did? Yeah, I got into the flow, you know, uh, you got to take advantage of opportunities and, you know, threes were there. And, um, you know, I wish I would have hit a couple of them that were open, but um, it was good to knock some down and get a good flow to the game. How big was it with the bench tonight? I mean, the Drew's still kind of started it all, but then I followed and Josh went off. Yeah, it's much needed, you know. As the season goes along, we got to get better chemistry wise, and um, we have to do well. And uh, because, I mean, before you know it, in a couple of months, we'll be in right there in the playoffs. So we got to just continue getting better and better. I'm curious when you saw that Josh is double clutch bank. <laughs> it was much needed at that time because, you know, Miami, they were making a little bump of a run, but, you know, Jay, like, he had a good game today, and uh, it was good to see that. Curious the, the balance that you guys had. I mean, it's been rare that six guys in double figures, uh, no one over 30, but probably anybody under 10. Um, can that be something that could be built upon? For sure. I mean, we should be scoring relentlessly once we have a balance attack. Because when we only got a couple guys going for, you know, uh, you know, we get stagnant and it hurts our, you know, hurts our team big time. And, uh, once everybody gets in the low, that's when we start overpowering teams offensively and defensively. We're getting more scrappy. And, so we know that and we just going to continue doing that. Lastly, you, you've gone back to uh, the visiting area where you played before. Kevin, get ready to do it. I was going back to Brooklyn. Let me speak to your experience and, and how that could Good. play into his experience. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Like, I, you know, he's had a great career for sure. Uh, and definitely, you know, uh, I know they had high expectations, and uh, he did well there. And, uh, you know, they did a lot. You know, um, James was there, Kyrie was there. So, you know, they got you know, to praise him because he didn't have to go there. And uh, and he went there and made things happen. And uh, so, you know, uh, they should be praising him for another thing.